What a glorious area for a truffle hunt. I was Paul's guest in Buckinghamshire, and for my first ever visit, I was very impressed. The woodland was excellent, and Mufti took no persuading to put her nose straight down on the job. We'd been walking for quite a while before down she went in an indication and we all ran over to where she was. As I cleared away an area of leaves, I actually moved in the wrong direction and obviously couldn't find anything. What do you do when you get stuck? Well, you ask a truffle hound. I was so ashamed. I even had to ask her twice. But... At last I find the truffle and hand over to Paul. He starts working really slowly and carefully to get out the truffle. Just... And for the camera, Paul. Wow. Just watch what's going on in the background. Hi there, this is a great find by Moth. It's the first of the day, and um, 2.30 two, two in the afternoon. Uh, we had a nice lunch and we found our first truffle. No, <laughs> second. Second truffle. Well done, Moth, that's what I say. Back at Paul's house. You can enjoy your truffles long before you start eating them. Amazing smell. That one. Can you see is the prudium is particularly well, well marked, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I'm absolutely thrilled because it's Mufti's first find in this county. So it's another notch in her belt. Yeah. And I think you're pretty happy too. Oh, amazing! I mean, I've been um, getting uh, some really good truffles from Marion over the last couple of months. Um, exciting all my friends with them and. Uh, <laughs> This is just the apex, really, you know, when you've actually found them in your own back garden. And uh, long may it continue, that's what I say. Can't wait to get myself a dog. And you might hear the story about it one day, how I went <laughs> on a truffle training course without a dog, but... Yes, you're my back-to-front customer. <laughs> the back-to-front customer, <laughs> as well known as. But yeah. it's amazing how things have developed. So, your lifelong lo love of mushrooms... Yeah. Um, then you're hunter. interested in truffles, and here we are, you know, we've been and gone and done it. And it looks as if they fit together as well, doesn't it? <laughs> it they were the same tree, undoubtedly, exactly, exactly. I'd have thought. And um, you've now seen how happy a little truffle hound gets. Which yeah. Amaz amazing to see how well and how diligently the dog works, really. I think she had to work quite hard to find those and we haven't found many this season at all. So they are actually a very good size for this year yeah, in the dry weather. Absolutely. So the third one um, that we found, we actually chopped up in the kitchen to have a look inside. Mm -hmm. They will be good. I, I, if you um, feel them with your fingers, they're really yeah. good and hard and firm. There's no soft sp no. spots in them at all. And the the smell, nose is Yeah, the smell is amazing. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so get your address book out, get some more friends yeah. to impress. <laughs> Scratch and sniff TV, that's what you need. <laughs> yeah. Paul enjoyed his special truffle hunt. I hope you did too.